had to play. You, you know play. what? It was a. I thought it was a great college hockey game. Both teams played way better than what they did last night. I mean, the pace of the game was better. Um, you know, when I we watch a video today, we knew that Michigan was going to play better. The score was one thing, but I mean, the shots were 29, 13, or something like that, five on five in the game for us last night. But they even finished with three chances late. So as a staff, we felt Michigan was going to play better tonight. And, we had to play better as well, and, and I, I just thought it was a great college hockey game. I think that was the best game we've been involved in all year. What kind of mood were your players in when they came to the rink? You know, I think there wasn't a lot of yelling or anything like that. We just talked. We went through the good things that we did last night. I think from a defensive standpoint, that you know, we, 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 I think until the, the, they scored their fourth goal, they had the two in the park. I think we'd already given up two scoring chances, five on five, up until then. And so we couldn't have asked any more from that end of it. But we just didn't, we didn't do anything offensively in the game last night. We didn't get to the net front. You know, we scored a couple of goals late, but we didn't, we didn't do anything from that, that end of it. We weren't very physical today. All of a sudden, we scored body contact, we're blocking shots. Um, one of the things we're communicating, the bench was lying. So sort of the things that indicate that the guys are really good the game. Uh, obviously, Eric made a couple of key saves, and you know, the guys that we need to score scored. And it was a great goal. Um, Tommy, you know, set it up on the tee for Hudson. He hammered that one off of the game winner. It was obviously a big, big win for us. You know what the standings are. You know what the paralyze says. I mean, was there a sense of desperation there, too? Well, uh, there's no question if we want to try to, you know, defend the crown that we had to win today. I mean, there's no way you're going to fall back four points with four games to go and, you know, and, and think you're going to have a chance to win. I mean, the, we talked about, you know, keeping that trophy that we have with Michigan and you know if we tie we get to maintain it. We've had it now for a number of years and we didn't want to give that up you know to, to maintain you know when the weekend began just like we were in Ann Arbor that you know the goal was to stay ahead of Michigan at the end of the weekend. I mean they're a good team, there's no question there's a reason why they they've won lost two overtime games here in the second half of the season. They're dangerous and, and we we had to play a complete game. We talked about it, the highest score team in the third period. Really dug in in the third period and you know, didn't give up much of anything. And the guys did a good job of you know, our, our reload game was good. We didn't get beat up the rink maybe one, one or two times all night long. And, and you have to play that way. You have to be conscious defensively. We're not going to run a gun with that team and think we're going to come out on top. Not with not mission. You weren't happy with your team's energy on the bench and on the ice last night. What did you see that was different from them? Well, you just you, you hear it. I mean, I, it's funny. I don't know if, if you know all of a sudden you know it's a big game. And sometimes you, you tighten, you play tighter, you just clam up. And, and uh, it was noticeable early on um, that the energy was different between the two teams. You could hear it on the bench all of a sudden. And that's what we talked about. You make a contact with somebody or you block a shot, and that gets your teammates involved in the game too, emotionally. So there was a lot more of that tonight. It seemed like, you know, after the way last night, you give up a kind of a bad turnover goal right kind away. <laughs> your words. Um, you know, do you have to kind of rebuild things at that point? No, I, I you know, because I, I thought... It's early. Yeah, yeah it's early. In it, but I thought, you know, the tie at 1-1 one, one was critical. I mean, you, you just, you don't want to spot Michigan 2 and think you're going to play catch-up because maybe you have to play a different type of game that you want to play because you want to keep it kind of close to the best. And so I thought tie at 1-1 one, one was, was really critical for us today. In addition to the points and the trophy, was it important for your team to get this kind of a win, where it's a yeah. persistent effort over a highly ranked team? Yeah, I think that's all important. And winning a third, you know, playing a tough grind it out third period. Um, you know, in so many games, we've kind of let one slip away this year. And third, that's part of growth and learning how to play. And, and those crucial, crucial situations in the game on the line. And, you know, and the young guys playing good. We have seven freshmen out there. And, on that Jack Sadick came in and did a nice job. And, um, you know, Clues' line, for the most part, I did a good job against Confer's line all weekend long. And I remember they just kind of fell into it uh, more than anything. It wasn't as consumed by, uh, you know, if they were going to get a match, but, you know, Clues' skating ability, um, I trusted him, you know, at least in the center position, that Michigan defending down low to. Michigan's second goal to a nice goal, but it looked like your team had three or four chances to get yeah, the blue line. Yeah, and that's, hey, they're going to pay. You know, that's goal scores goal. I made the comment to Grant after the second that, you know, a lot of guys would have got that pass and they would have been in pillows, you know, shot low, but no, there's a reason why he's got 29. I mean, it was almost barred out, and that's what goal scores do. They get that.
that puck, they elevate, and that's the difference between somebody who can score and somebody who struggles to score. What's, what's, review, what's the they role done on the bench? Is the puck? Yeah, I think they went it was that or a hand pass. I did that. when I watched the replay, it looked like the guy hit it with his hand, but then it came. He was able to play the puck himself. So you know, they looked at it when I when I saw the review. I thought, oh, they're gonna, they're going to call it that one. What's What's the rule done on, on sweeping the stick away? The kid, your player swept the stick. Well, yeah. I thought it was a, uh, a broken stick, but there was two sticks, I guess. One was broke, one wasn't. Okay. And he swept them away the one that wasn't broke. So if it's that, broken, you can do it if yeah, it's... Yeah, I mean, because you can't pick up your stick. Stick, right. Yeah. Okay. A lot of penalties in the first, and then it looked like in the second, everything, you know, kind of went. Full-time hockey. It, you got, <laughs> <laughs> it seemed like you had to maybe adjust to the refs in games. Yeah, yeah. Well, hey, it was probably better for us than there wasn't calls. So. Thank <laughs> you.